going on guys going to be doing a little bit of a build um review of all these parts uh, i recently built this computer about two weeks ago threw all the pieces together and it actually ended up being really nice um i'll actually showcase some video of, of the build that i have in front of me um but yeah it actually ended up being really nice so as you can see, I have it all collected here. I did buy it all through Amazon. Um, I price checked it on Newegg as well as a bunch of other retailers and still seemed to be the best on Amazon. And if not, buy it like a couple dollars. So it wasn't really worth having to go through two sellers for just saving a couple bucks. But So as you can see up here, I just have the peripherals. I uh, got the keyboard and a mouse and uh, you will actually need a monitor too. Uh, so I did pick up a couple of those. But, um, you know, you, you do want a decent keyboard and mouse. Those are the things you're actually going to be having your hands on when you're using your products. So, you know, definitely put some time and consideration to that. I went with this one because has this uh, mouse, first of all, has 11 programmable buttons, um, which is amazing. Gives you tons of options if you want to, um, like, for instance, on, on this mouse, you can see it. Um, it has, it is wired. There's a non-wired version, but the wired version, you get all these buttons on the right, which there's a bunch of them. So you get like these ones and you get this other one over here. This one is like, and those are all accessible by the thumb. It's a great well-rounded mouse. Um, it has adjustable weights, RGB, of course. So some fun options there. 16k dpi now nobody really needs a really high dpi but it's there um this is a really great mechanical keyboard because it's aluminum it's really sturdy has no flex at all in its base it's heavy so it's not going to move around it's not going to shift around i actually use it to hold my wires down so like my headset wire i use that right now it holds my holds wires down which is really nice um the it's brown switches it's a mechanical keyboard so um that's a really nice part is like when you're pressing buttons you don't want there to you know the buttons to like be sliding around acting weird they're very they're very good and they have a noticeable click but it's not so bad that it's like you're trying to wait for like a specific click when you press it in it's just it's light it's kind of a light feel so it's a really great keyboard I think um, and it has tons of different modes on it which is cool too so right now I just have the rainbow color shift pattern but um, it's fun it's a fun one so moving on to the actual build uh, I'll actually start down here at the bottom um, so with this CPU it's actually it's a great high-end one that's not going to bottleneck any GPU whatsoever. You can throw in a 2080 Ti. This CPU will, will keep up with it all day. As well as the fact that it's an 8-core 16 thread. What that means is it's going to allow you to be able to stream. If you want to do that, you can have multiple windows open. You can be like looking at your game stats or anything you want while you're gaming, especially if you have a dual monitor. Um, it's really great for that. And I don't have it overclocked or anything, but it is unlocked and you can overclock it up to like 0.6 of an extra gigabyte or gigahertz of, uh, of power, which means it's never gonna bottleneck you. It's a great one. Um, and it is more of a higher end one at 300 bucks. I mean, you could go down an extra 100 bucks and, and just pick up a 3600X if you're specifically going to be gaming, you save a hundred bucks and 3600 X is still amazing. It's a great CPU for the price. I just thought the extra cores would be handy for what I want to do, um, which is video creation, streaming, gaming, you know, workstation, everything all in one. So, but you know, there are specific needs for specific parts. This MSI X570 motherboard, is also a pretty great option because it is upgrade compatible down the road. AMD has released news that they're planning on keeping their same socket um, for up to like 2022, I think is what it's guaranteed through. 
So this is going to keep you updated with any new upgrades down the road. It has PCIe 4.0, which is up to like, I think it's like four or five times faster than your standard SSD or M.2. So that's an amazing feature. I'm not using that personally in this build, but if you ever did want to upgrade and, and get something um, that's compatible for that, this is a great option. Also, it is Wi-Fi 5, uh, which is great. That does support up to like 600 megabits per second download speed, uh, which is usually going to be fast enough for everybody's internet, unless you have gigabit fiber or something. Then maybe you want to go with Wi-Fi 6. The motherboard supports that. Um, yeah, and like I mentioned, it does have dual M.2 um, SSD, so. What that means is up here it has a built-in heat sink for M.2 and it also has a second one that you can do right here. Um, so you could potentially not ever need any SSDs or hard drives at all. Just include in, in your motherboard, have your storage, which is awesome. Um, moving on to the RAM, um, I just went with RGB because it fits my build. Um, as you can see, the motherboard has RGB lights, the RAM has RGB lights. Um, this comes with an RGB built-in LED cooler, which is pretty dope. Um, it, it looks pretty good, you know, for especially at a cost of being free. You really you can't really complain about that. Um, you can always upgrade to like a liquid uh, CPU cooler down the road. And there's a bunch of really great brands right now with some great liquid cooling options. Um, the RAM, you, you definitely want to go with a higher RAM, maybe 3200, 3600. The reason being is high megahertz RAM, like 32 to 3600, is the is known to be the best ideal for the Infinity Fabric on your um, supported by the new Ryzen third generation. So having a high um, RAM best supports like keeping up with your frames and just overall getting the best support available out of your CPU. Um, and it's also AMD optimized already. This just means it has a couple features that are gonna allow it to work a little bit better than if you just bought like a all around type of, uh, type of uh, memory, but a great option. Um, and then I also went with this uh, CPU by Thermaltake. Um, there's a couple great features with it. It's fully modular. This is actually the first time I ever bought a fully modular CPU just because I was like, hey, you know, I don't give a crap if the wires are connected or not as long as the wires are there. No, having it modular, especially in a build where you don't even have SATA connections, basically nothing in this build that you see is, is using a SATA connection. You can just throw, you can keep those away. I mean, it comes with a great little kit. You can just keep them stored away until you actually need them. It's fantastic. It's 750 watts, so it's going to be well enough to power the system and also keep its power over the course of years to still, you know, withhold enough power for a PC build like this and down the road if you ever upgraded um, in the future. 750 is actually a little bit overkill on this one specifically. Um, the 80 plus gold certified does mean you're not going to be losing efficiency down the road. Um, it's going to stay at a high performance of power for years and years. Um, I also like it because it does have a 10 year warranty. What PSU company do you know right now that's doing 10 year warranties? That's, that's free. It's included with your, with your computer, or with your power supply. It's amazing. So all that at the price tag of just a hundred bucks meant that this was going to be the best option and it's RGB. Again, it fits my build quality. So, um, of the theme I'm going with this graphics card. Um, I just want to say that this graphics card can be easily swapped out with a more current one. This, this one I think was released in 2016. It's still a really great performing graphics card. I'm getting, I think it was like, 150, 200 frames in some of the games, uh, AAA titles I'm playing. So um, this 1070 can be swapped for like a 1070 or a 2070 Super, or I think maybe even like a 2080 at this price range. Um, 
So you're going to be able to get a, you know, a lot more current options for uh, graphics cards. This one was given to me free, so I, I just put it in the build because that's, well, that's the build I have. Um, but it's it works phenomenally, so it's a great option. Uh, and then, you know, moving on to the actual tower case, I went with this Corsair IQ465X RGB mid tower. So this one, um, the case is just aesthetics. So unless you're trying to get something that has, you know, a lot of breathing room, which, you know, ideally you do want something that has, you know, a lot of ventilation. This one kind of covered all those boxes for me, has three built-in fans in the front. Um, I wish I had one included in the back. I had to actually buy my own separate little um, RGB cooler in the back, but um, it still comes at a pretty good price with a ton of features included in this case. Um, it has a separate bay for the power supply. Um, the front panel comes off, the, you know, all the sides come off. It's just a magnetic strip on the top for, uh, you know, cooling the top. So it's going to be aesthetics for what you choose. This one just seemed to have like the most reviews. I think it was like reviewed a crazy amount. Yeah, 1500 times. It has a 4.6 star rating. I had to get that one. So, um, but lastly, moving on to um, the actual storage. Um, this one was a little tricky for me because I wanted something that had a really high read and write speed. This one has uh, 2000, I think is what it's supported here. Let's take a look. But this M.2 SSD can be easily swapped out with like a Crucial or a Western Digital. Um, there's there's a ton of great brands. Right now the white one is actually, this. I think it's the same, but it's 20 bucks cheaper. So that might be the one. Actually, it's a tad bit slower. <laughs> Um, this one's 3,400 megabytes per second, a transfer rate. So it's crazy fast. You actually look over here, we got that NVMe, which is supported in this build up to 5,000 megabytes per second. So uh, we could have used that and only 50 more bucks. That would have been actually a really great option. I just didn't really need that fast of performance and storage. You're going to notice it very um, it's only going to be a tiny difference in what you're doing unless you're doing big 4k video transferring or anything crazy like that um, but great brand and it's it's working great right now um, I went with the one terabyte which is which is what you want for you know for a build that you're going to be using all the time so let's see so um, that about sums it up guys so I think what I'll do is just show you the build now, maybe do a benchmark speed test. Um, so I'll actually run that real quick here. And here we go. Just running the benchmarks. It's doing a one core test, now a two core test, now a four core test. And it's just gonna test everything on our, our computer. I have it selected for PSU, CPU, RAM, everything all right so here we are after doing the cpu uh, performance check uh, basically it's saying that we're performing right in the middle out of all these components you know for the pc build um, gaming is even actually fairly good this is a 2016 graphics card once again a 1070 uh, 84% and then 113%, 102%, you know, for these other options. So it's, it's actually a very versatile, um, build. We'll say though, uh, the only thing that was a little bit sad was about, was actually that graphics card. But again, I mean, you could swap it out. Uh, 2070 super, I think is about where that 600 price range is right now. Let me just double check real quick. Oh, yep, it's actually only 500 and something bucks. And this guy would perform, you know, hands down just as good or way better, actually. It would perform better than what we have. You can go with the 2080 for maybe 100 bucks more. It's just the highest, best graphics card you can buy, except the TI. So, some great options there. Um, you're just going to want to find some parts that look best for you. But,. I'm really happy with this build, you know, especially given the fact that it'll be 
a great PC you know, over uh, years of owning it. So I recommend it. I'll I'll showcase some of the some of what it looks like now. So stay tuned.